From my point of view, it's not much convenient to use native MongoDB shell in the terminal. All outputs and commands are in the same color, it's difficult to enter several commands one by one, that's why I suggest you to install Robo3T, that was previously called RoboMongo. You should navigate to robomongo.org website and download this application here. Please note that there is another option available called Studio 3D. That is another application for MongoDB management and it has a lot of features, but it is free only for non-commercial usage. We will use Robo 3D. It is very simple and it has embedded MongoDB shell. Robo 3D is available for different operating systems. Just click Download Robo 3D, click Download Robo 3D again and choose needed installation, either for Windows, Mac or Linux. Please pause video on this point and install Robo 3D. After successful installation, open application and you will see something like this. Click here Create new connection and add connection to the local host. Leave here address by default and port also by default to 7017 and name connection for example, local host. Click test, test will be successful and click save. Of course, make sure that MongoD server is up. And now click connect. And here on the left pane, you'll see databases on your MongoDB server. Here is for example, admin database, local and config. Let's double click on local database expand collections and here you will see same collection that we have explored in the MongoDB shell. Startup underscore log. Let's double click on it and contents of this collection will be opened here on the right. And you will see that output is pretty good formatted with different colors and so on. Same commands, you can add different commands here, for example, db.version and parentheses. If you want to execute command, you can click here green triangle or just use shortcut command enter on Mac and control enter on Windows. And here you will get result 4.0.0, it is a version of the database on the MongoDB server. Ok, let's move on to the next section where we will discuss JSON, extended JSON and BSON formats. And after that section, we will move on and explore most common operations with MongoDB database. We will insert different documents, update them and so on. See you in the next section. Bye-bye.